guys and welcome to my channel today i'm bringing you another video from siska stitches and designs today's tutorial is going to be about how to make a flower stem for your bridesmaids you can say that you want to make this for someone that wants to get married and make money from it if you're getting married you can try to make this for yourself and save um, cost like i said this tutorial is going to be about how to make a flower stem for your bridesmaids it's a very very simple tutorial I'm actually going to show you the tools that you're going to need to make a very very beautiful flower stem for your bridesmaids now if you're not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to join the family by clicking the subscribe button down below and also don't forget to click the bell the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I post new videos you're going to see tutorials on how to make a traditional wedding hand fan how I made my own bridal bouquet for my wedding so tutorials are going to be coming up guys don't forget to subscribe so guys these are my materials right on my hand here i have what is called the floral wire this is my glue gun this is a bouquet straw it's stiffer and stronger than normal drink straw this is my tape roll then with the flowers i'll be using that green stuff is the floral tape and then reborn and i have my flowers and in order to make my flowers appear more fuller i'll be taking these green leaves off of that particular set of flowers then i have these nippers i'll be using to cut the flowers off the stem now this stem has like floral wire in it that's why it was, it was quite stiff so what I'm going to do now is separate the leaves individually because I'm going to be gluing these leaves separately onto the flower so I need to cut them individually. Once this is done, I'm, I need to insert the floral wire into that hole right there and in order for that to stay put, I'm going to need my glue gun to achieve that. So I'll pl I've plugged my glue gun to an electric source electric source so what I'm going to do now is place some glue on the wire and then I'm going to stick it right back up at the bottom of the flower so once I have enough glue I put enough glue so that it's going to have a stronger hold I'm going to just insert it right there and I make sure to twist the wire in so that most of the gum goes into that hole and once that's done you can remove the excess from the side because as this dries it gets stiff so once that is done and you make sure that the wire is not flexible I'm going to apply another gum or glue at the bottom of the at the joining where the wire connects to the bottom of that flower and then insert it into the bouquet straw apply some more glue just to ensure that it has a good hold the bouquet straw doesn't um, remove the flower straw doesn't remove from that so once that's done as you can see I'm going to leave it to dry and become stiff next thing I'm going to do now while that is drying is to apply some glue to the bottom of this leaf both front and back and I'm going to be sticking it inside the flower where the green stuffs are so I'm going to stick it right there at the base of the flower and then I ensure to press it down so that the glue actually holds the flower in place so I'm going to look for like strategic places to actually place these three leaves so I do the same thing for the next leaf and then once I'm done I leave it to dry so this is the finished product of one of the stuff one of the flowers that I did so I'm going to repeat I'm going to show you how I did that so I'll be getting my floral tape now now as this floral tape stretches it glues to wherever you place it on so I'm going to start from the base of that flower and I'm going to be um I'm going to be wrapping the bouquet straw down in a spiral fashion so you'll be rolling it spirally downward and ensure that it covers the entire straw this way it's going to make the single flower look as natural as possible because you don't want to carry that gold that lemon straw about it's not really nice so 
use a floral a green floral tip specifically to do that so at the base of this now i'm going to cut a little bit of excess wrap it around the base of that straw ensure that it's tight as tight as possible and then once i'm done i'm going to tuck it in and you can cut off the excess or just continue rolling it in and tucking it in underneath so that's basically how i did the single flower so once you are done you are halfway done or almost done basically so i'm going to get my ribbon now and i'll be measuring about 25 inches so i'm going to cut that out and what i'll be doing with this ribbon is to tie it sort of like at the towards the base of the flower so i folded it the bottom into two and sort of like cut a triangle out to give this i don't know this design to it so this is what i did i'm going to do it to the other side as well so you can decide to leave your ribbon as straight as it is or do something like that now in order for your ribbon not to rip where you cut it i struck a match and just placed the fire directly not directly underneath even though it's going to burn so that it shrinks those um loose those raw edges that have thread pulling out and once i'm done with that we're going to ensure that it is okay and then tie the ribbon around the stem that we have just taped so i'm going to be sort of like be creating a bow effect with this ribbon a really nice bow effect and you're going to see how it's going to come out so what i did was grab the two ends of the ribbon unfold and then tie it just once and that is how i achieved my bow so you can arrange it neatly so this is how it looks like now you can see it's very very pretty so if you like my tutorials please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share this video so others can also be inspired by this and also make this for their bridesmaids thank you for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video Bye bye